Hi everyone, welcome to Cooking With Our. Today we're gonna to make my very easy muffins. I love these muffins, they're a standby for me. If people are coming over, I can whip them up in 20 minutes. Um, and I, if the, when the kids coming home from school, I can quick put them in the oven quickly. They're really good to freeze. The kids love them in their lunch boxes and you can get creative because there's a base recipe to which you can add any sort of fruit, uh, nut, spice, like cinnamon or nutmeg or any other type of spice that you like. And actually, if you're really clever and you need to be really quick, you can just do it with one measuring cup. You just have to know how to sort of um, eyeball a half a cup and a three quarter cup. So it's a super easy, my version, slapdash style muffin. Let's get cooking. Okay, first up, I'm gonna grease my 12 cup muffin tin, just with cooking spray. I've got my oven preheating, I think at 180. So super easy, done. Okay, so I have one and a half cups of self-raising flour, half a cup of brown sugar, and a pinch of salt. I've mixed that well in a bowl that can go in the dishwasher with a spoon that can go in the dishwasher. Okay, so in my wet ingredients, I'm going to add to this bowl one egg, three quarters of a cup of some sort of vegetable oil. Today I'm using sunflower oil. You can use canola oil or vegetable oil. It's milk or buttermilk. Today I ha happen to have buttermilk in the fridge. Actually, I'm just gonna give it a little shake before I do that. So I'm gonna use buttermilk. Either is absolutely fine. And I am going to add to that some chopped up strawberries that I had in the freezer. It's a great way to use strawberries that are going a bit soft in your um, fridge is to chop them up into little bits. We use them for pancakes, we use them for these muffins. Um, we have them with ice cream. I'm just going to use the whisk actually to combine those ingredients and to break up the egg. So on the recipe that I'm gonna post online with this video, I'm gonna give you some ideas for what other fillings you can use other than strawberries. And I forgot to tell you, I'm gonna use milk chocolate. So half a cup of milk chocolate. All right, so now that I've whisked the wet ingredients, I'm gonna add the half a cup of chocolate chips to the dry ingredients. Give that a mix around. And then I simply add the dry ingredients to the wet ingredients and I mix it until it is only just combined. Do not overmix this batter, otherwise the muffins will come out tough. So to do that, I tend to scrape around the edge of my bowl and try and lift any dry ingredients up from the bottom of the bowl. So. Dry it there, stick your finger in. That's it. Maybe six or seven good mixes around. Now I have used patty pans in the past with this recipe. They stick to the patty pan. So I just suggest using no patty pans and greasing your muffin tray quite well. And the other thing I like to do is just pour out a few chopped chips in the bowl you had your dry ingredients in and then I'll just put those, stug those on top when I've, um, when I've put the batter into the muffin mix, muffin tray. So fill the, tray, the muffin holes up about two thirds and they're gonna go into the oven for 20 to 25 minutes. The oil, the oil you use in this mixture gives the outside of the muffin a really crunchy 
texture, which I really like. It's just different to another muffin you might get. It's just a difference that I like. Otherwise they taste pretty much the same. All right, filled. Now, just go through. Two or three, three or four. All right, into the oven they go for 20 to 25 minutes. It depends on how hot your oven is and whereabouts in the oven you place them. I place mine in the bottom centre-ish part of the oven. That's just where my food in my oven cooks best. So we'll come back and check them in about the 20 minute mark and see how we go. So here we are at the 20 minute mark. I've just turned the um, muffin tray around so that they all get a bit of even cooking. I'm just gonna leave it in for another couple of minutes and then I'm gonna take them out because they're just about ready, looking delicious. All right, so the muffins are out of the oven and they're smelling delicious and I just press them in. If they bounce back, they're cooked. I'm gonna take this one out of the tray and try it. They're nice and moist. Very light, this recipe. That's a really nice muffin. Strawberries are really sweet. The milk chocolate chips complement the strawberries very well. And um, the texture of the muffin is very light because of the oil. It's not a dense muffin at all. Um, and it's a really easy recipe to whip up and memorize. So, and actually get your kids involved. They could do this recipe, super easy. So I hope you give it a go and I really hope you enjoy.